Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate everybody rocking with me, man. It's your boy, man. On the run trucking TV. This video, nobody didn't ask me about this. I just want to give, I like to give out the info. So hopefully it can help you with, with your journey in this business. I just want to talk about my, the biggest mistakes I made in the beginning. And like I say, this is just me thinking about something or like just thinking about random stuff. I made a whole lot of big mistakes in the beginning. But this, I'm going to just run down a few things for y'all, man. First, that's why I made the video about the uh, what type of box truck you should get. The first the first thing I did in this business was my equipment, my truck. I bought a wrong truck. I got a, a international. It's not about the international. I got a with a with a Max Force engine in it. Man, I I, I know people who've been following with me know. Man, I only had that truck for six months. Man, so new owner operators out there in the game. Your equipment is everything. Make sure you got a reliable mechanic that you can bring with you, or you can bring it to, because you're gonna need it to get it checked over. Whoever you're buying your truck from, they only want to get the money. They're going to tell you everything. I, I flew to Missouri to get my truck from Ryder, and I broke down driving it back home. And they and everybody, and I asked people before, oh, how's Ryder this, that? Oh, Ryder take care of their trucks. And then I think about it now. Obviously, I've been in the business for a while. I'm like, shit, anytime I was moving or I rented a Ryder truck or U-Haul, whatever kind of truck I rent, I was mashing that shit. Ain't nobody take. Think about it. Who who the hell is renting a rider truck to go do what they doing and they're taking care of it? Nobody. You trying to you beating that shit up and you gonna give it back to them because it's on them to fix it. So that's that's number one. Make sure you got a reliable mechanic. Make sure you got a reliable uh a reliable shop, a reputable shop. You you want to go somewhere? What know what they doing and they're not just in there trying to. Oh yeah, you need this. And you need to do this. You need to do this more than you need to do that. And it don't really work like that because that diesel, once you get into that diesel shit, man, that shit is expensive. And the next video I'm going to do, I seen somebody's uh, on Instagram and I'm going to, and I want to, and I want to uh, react to their video because they're talking some real shit about the maintenance. And it's some shit that I've been said. I just like, like I say, I like to see people talking the shit that I talk. So it's real shit. And, and, and newer owner operators to see that but you definitely want to make sure the truck that you're getting is is quality yeah you're gonna have to put money into your equipment yeah you, your shit gonna break down it's gonna happen but you don't want to jump into business and have to worry about your truck breaking down being on the side of the road because think about think about just look at it like this think about how much money that you have to come up with on the front end just to get into this business then for you to turn around and be out there with a load or going to get a load or however and get shit break down and you ain't made a dollar yet. You know, that was my that was my story. I'm driving back home from Missouri. And my truck break down, so I'm already spending money and I ain't made a dollar yet. You know what I'm saying? So I, my advice out the gate, don't even fuck with Ryder. If I was you. I, I can't tell you where to go because they got all type of truck dealers all over, but don't go to Ryder. If you're going to go to Ryder for my people who rent, rent through Ryder. Do not purchase through them because them people, man, they need to get their drawers kicked up their ass. So that's one. Number two, I didn't really understand. And like I say, I was hit. This is, this is the main, this is why I'm on YouTube right now because I was hitting up people, hitting up YouTubers. Hey man, what about this, that, and how much? Uh, like you not asking them about their finances, just saying like, well, what do you think about uh, like, what rate should I try to start at, and this and that? They don't, they want me to pay for that information. So, for my South Florida people, my first load ever, and I, I, I fucked up, but hey, I was trying to get out there. Yeah, I know I lived in Fort Lauderdale. I drove deadhead, mind you. <laughs> I deadheaded to Fort Myers. It's not the farthest, but it's dumb as hell, and it didn't make no sense because I didn't know this. I'm just thinking, okay, I picked this up there, go there. I picked up at Fort Myers, and I drove to uh, Orange Park, I think it was, $250, and it was Yellow Diamond. And now that I've been in the business for a while, when I see Yellow Diamond loads, I don't even call them because I know they're not spending no money. And this is shit that you'll learn uh as you're doing the business you'll learn 
oh, this company here, you, you're not even going to call them about it unless you want to get a kick out of it to see. But nine times out of ten, they are who they are. And you're going to realize that once you get in the business. So, yeah, I did some stupid ass shit, man. And then another thing, like another load I did that didn't make no damn sense and I didn't know is that I got paid like seventeen or eighteen hundred dollars to go to uh to go to uh damn what's that city in the Pensacola now for my people in Florida and this is this is 2021 I think I did this now for my people in Florida y'all know the freight up there in the panhandle on that part it ain't really shit it ain't not to say they don't never have nothing coming out but it's very rare you're gonna get a lot of freight coming out of there so I had the deadhead from Pensacola all the way across the panhandle to Jacksonville to get a goddamn load. And for y'all in Florida who don't know, Florida big as hell. And that Pensacola going panhandle like east to west, coast to coast, that shit damn near took me four hours. It was about 250 miles. Could have been a little more, but it was. it took me about four hours to get there. That shit was crazy. Oh my god. Now I got a decent load coming out of Jacksonville, but what I say, I guess I just had to uh the extra money that I made, I just had to, you know, put that on the deadhead because I wasn't staying in Pensacola. I was it's, it's bad enough I was up there probably and don't let me leave out I was up there probably about 2 hours, damn near 3 hours before I even found that load just sitting around. So Oh man, shit crazy, man. Shit crazy, man. That was that was another mistake. And the goddamn um I touched on the uh the trucks. I touched on the uh on the uh on my bullshit ass loads that I took. You know when you when you know better, you do better. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got on YouTube. Let me see what else what what else was the, my biggest mistakes in this damn in the trucking business? Doing loads for brokers. That's why. I, that's why I say don't do favors. I did do, do these loads for brokers. Oh man, I'm just throwing the number out there because I don't remember. Oh, if you do this load for three fifty, I have plenty more coming. Never heard back from them again. Never do that again. If they gonna call you, they'll call you. Get your money though. Don't let them sit there because they, why, why are you telling me that? If you are gonna use me, you are gonna use me. Why do you need me to t take less money if you are gonna use me? No, hell no. Did do do that low for these people? Nothing. Nothing, man. Nothing, man. So you got just got to be, you know, it is 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 learn it's lessons learned. You're going to learn in this shit. You're going you're going to take L's. You're going to get pissed off. You're going to want to put your you're going to want to choke a couple of them brokers out, but it come with the game, it come with the territory. It come with it. But the, at the end of the day, you're going to take L's, just try to take more W's than you take L's and you're going to be all right, man. And every L you take, don't take it. Don't consider it an L. Consider it as a lesson, a lesson learned. Don't consider it a loss, even if you did lose some money. Being And that should make it more impactful on you that you don't make that same mistake again. You know, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. But for sure, don't do no deals with nobody, man. And I got fucked up again. See, as I'm talking, they were popping up. That's why I said that in my last video. Another thing I fucked up doing those uh doing those one pick two drops uh-uh uh-uh i remember i did one of those too picking up and it picked up did it pick up in miami i think it picked up in miami this is this is when i was still living in fort lauderdale and it dropped in fort lauderdale and then i had to go to uh punta gorda and i got that shit for like 500 dollars. don't do that when you when you when you when you get those loads there you need to be getting as close to two rates as possible because that's what they get. Think about it. One pick, two drops. They got plenty of shipments coming out the same facility, going to different spots. They just got them both and trying to put them all on one driver. You got to get your money. Don't let them get you with that. Get your money. If they say they can get it for something else, go get it for something else because they're definitely got two, two, uh, like, uh, like two rates. You know, they got two different, uh, payments for that you better believe it it's not one they got two because it's two different shipments going to two different places you know what i'm saying can't fall for the okie dokes man you cannot fall for the okie dokes man like i say i'm pretty sure it's more 
these are just some of the biggest mistakes I made in the business. And hopefully y'all won't make them as new owner operators. Just got to um just gotta pay attention and listen closely to when they're talking, man. And watch them. And another thing, before I before I get up out of here, this is important. Them rate cons. I didn't had brokers tell me we agree on one price. I get the rate con and it's a whole nother price. You gotta watch their ass, man. Watch them quick. If you got a friend, a girlfriend, whoever doing your shit for you, make them just double check it because they, they they're very slick. They, they'll try to get you for the 50, 100, 150 dollars, and it'll just go right by you because you're busy and you just signing shit. You know, a lot of the times you get that shit, you, you just sign it. You don't really look. And once you sign it, then that's what you agreed to. Keep that in mind. I don't want to see, you know, I don't want to see nobody get scammed like that because they got me like that. I caught it and I sent that shit. Oh, we made a mistake. Right. It's just ironic that the price that he sent was the price that we were negotiating when I told him I didn't want that. I wanted a higher right. All right. He ironically sent the one that we didn't agree on. So just keep just keep shit like that in consideration and, and keep a close eye on your paperwork, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell and jump in the comments from my people out there on the road and let me know some of the shit that y'all got, man.